Hey everyone, Red here, and it's time for another Res Requested, and today we have what I'm going to call the Gen Whisperer build. I was initially going to do this with Clown, but since he's disabled, and this has any M1 killer work, I figure we haven't seen Miss Amanda for a while, so let's go ahead and break down today's build. First, we have Surveillance. Any regressing generator will be highlighted by a white aura, and if the regression is interrupted, it will be highlighted by a yellow aura for 16 seconds. I'll also be able to hear generator noises at an additional 8 meters, which is very helpful for Pig as she likes to sneak up on survivors. Next, we'll be grabbing Scourge Hook Pain Resonance. Whenever you hook a survivor on a Scourge Hook, the generator with the most progress is going to explode, instantly losing 15% of that progress and begin regressing. Third, we have Jolt. Putting a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack causes all gens within a 32 meter radius to explode instantly and begin regressing. Generators afflicted by Jolt will also immediately lose 8% of their progress. And last but not least is the new Ruin. Anytime survivors are not working on a generator, it will automatically regress at 100% of the normal regression speed. That's it for perks and as far as add-ons today, I went with combat strats, that way I could increase my crouching and uncrouching speed by 30% and Bag of Gears, which is going to increase the reverse bear trap setting speed and also increase time required to search a jigsaw box by 17%. Other than that, that's today's build and let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right, we got Rotten Fields. Well, it's a little bit big of a map, but we have enough slowdown to hopefully deal with it. And there's gonna be a lot of dead zones that we can definitely use our advantage on. The stock here hopefully will give us enough cover. Do we have anyone on these gens? Oh yeah, right away, cool. Hey, Dwight. I'll take it. I'm going to kind of watch, see where he's going. Maybe we can make some kind of crouch play. That's something a lot of people don't do, but you can use crouch very well. All right. He's got life. And he went in there on the side. All right. I'm kind of over it, but I'll follow it for a split second. Yeah. Is anyone maybe over here? Oh, yeah. You can actually hear the gen being worked on so far. That's why I like surveillance. Hi. Trap her in here. Ruin takes effect. Nice. Can we get this down quick enough? If we get this down in this area, we can get Jolt to go off. All right. Let's go for a crouch play. Got her. Nice. Just like that. If they can't see the top of your head, it's very hard to actually follow where the killer is. Oh, you went right back to it. That's brave. Are we going away? We are. Okay, cool. I wanted to double check. I was pretty sure she'd do it. And yeah, we're in a dead zone right now, so good luck. Alright, she's going to go to the vault to the right. Any dead hard? No. Alright, cool. And he's going back for the save. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get our other head trap on. This will help slow down the game if they manage to get one gen done. They'll both be searching for boxes, which will help us in the mid-game. Now, the question is, do you think they're going to heal under hook? If so, we can definitely make a play there. Okay, and we have one survivor over there working on that gen. I'm not going to worry about it. We'll let that one go. Oh, yeah, we're both here. Let's just wait. Oh, here we go. Hi, buddy. I can hold it forward on him now until something better comes along. Going for the shag. Veering away. That was kind of silly. I don't think you make it over here, man. Nope. It was a nice try, but that was really greedy. All right. Now, we have two survivors who are going to be looking for boxes. And we have Dwight who's going on hooks. So only one survivor can be on a gen. Though it does look like someone came over here and tapped this gen. Let's go ahead and get him on this skirt choke, and we'll go from there. Oh, she's actually right on this box. Oh, that's so unlucky for her. But really lucky for me. Thank you. And the big jolt tag on that again. Well, she already checked this box. Is there... Uh, let's just go ahead and drop her. If we have another chase, I'm kind of okay with this at the moment. It would take a long time to get her to a hook. Might be able to catch up. Maybe. Ooh, we got the play here. Ah, Lythe. Okay. Maybe he goes back. Nope. He just held it forward. Oh, well. I big brain myself. And I'm over it. 
She should go for the save. This is a very big map. She's going to have to pay attention to that head pop timer. I don't really want to go for Dwight, but since he's the only one I see, I'm going to go for it. I'd rather be in chase and have nothing. There she is. We can actually slug him out, and then we can look to go maybe for her. Ooh, I got two people here. Yeah, going for her is definitely the better call here. We're also forcing her timer to go down a little bit right now. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, yes. I hear you. Big fake. Maybe on the crouch play? All right. She's chilling. Let's just move over here. This is fine. Hey, man. Oh, my God. I'm glad I followed that because, holy hell, that was laggy. Mm. Yeah, there's not really a way to play around this at the moment. He has sight on me everywhere. I mean, this works. I'll just knock him back down. Yeah, I mean, I might as well hook him up. I got two survivors who are looking to get their hat traps off that I need to deal with. Crow just went up into the left over there as well. Alright, Nancy got her hat trap off. Lori's getting close. Ooh, Nancy has no idea. Oh my god, she is completely caught off guard. Hey, how you doing? Maybe? That was smart. That's what you should do. Leaving the loops pretty, pretty much always a good way of getting out of the lunge attack. Alright, let's just go ahead and hook her back up. It's really close. Lori's about ready to pop, for sure, right? Well, there he is. Yeah, I can just kind of chase him down. Oh, man, that's rough. She got super unlucky. That head pop's going to secure the game. Let's just wait. Yeah, here he comes. I love that trick. It actually works quite a lot. Yeah, the light's not going to get you too far, man. It was a nice try, though. That's just a rough one for them. Brutal game all the way. Well, guys, that is game number one. A very dominating game. Really happy to see it. That was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and move on to game number two. All right, and game number two is on Temple of Purgation. Fair enough. Well, it's going to be finding the first survivor that's going to be the fun part. We can definitely check over here in Shag and see what's going on. We should hear from quite a distance. And yeah, no one's working on that. No one's... Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and head over here real quick and see what's going on. They must have checked for Ruin. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, yeah. They just tapped it. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to catch them here. Alright, let's go ahead and head back more into Shack side. Oh, yeah. It is... Definitely going now. Whew. Crazy. That might be prove thyself. Is there a toolbox in play? Hey, nope. Uh, I, I actually should have waited for her to tap it again. Oh, you want some? Alright, I'm down. That was brave. She didn't want to throw the pallet, but... Okay, no dead heart. I was like, that'd be the best time for a dead heart right there. I mean, I'll take it, man. A gen for two downs? Totally worth it. And we got the next location over there, thanks to uh, Ruin. Jolt might have hit that, actually. Uh, it's a little close. It's hard to say. That is kind of the nice thing. I do like builds with a lot of synergy like this, and it's a lot of information you can gather. Every one of our perks can proc surveillance, and it's really nice. Ooh. Got that done pretty quick as well. Well, hi, how you doing? I meant to make sure I play pretty mean this round. Okay, are we going for the save then? Yeah, it looks like it. You gonna drop it? No? I'm more confused by that action, I think, than you are. I don't really want to be over for too long, but I can go for maybe a little crouch play and see if anything happens. I can hear her from the side. Can't hear her anymore. Oh, yeah, she's still there. Oh, wait. Hi. I thought I heard someone else. 
Oh, she drops this 100%. Yeah. No! That was good. Smart. Let's fake it and break it. That flashlight was brave. Without Iron Will, that flashlight it typically is a worse call. Yeah. She could have made it to the pallet if she didn't go for the flashlight. Let's see if we can maybe pop off one more. I mean, I'm okay with this. We already broke the pallet. I can definitely chase this down. And the others look like they healed, so we should be fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're getting gens done really quick, but, like, we're downing them just as fast. So we're keeping up in the tempo. Here you go. I mean, this gives me time. No one's over here healing her. I mean, if she has power struggle, that'd be a pretty cool play. Nope. All right. Basement it is. Well, okay. You should be saving your other teammate right now. And yeah, she came over here. I wonder if she was looking for maybe some kind of save. Maybe she was, was looking for the pallet, but she was so late. We can kind of just hold this forward. No reason not to. Thank you. All right, there goes the other save. Let's see if they heal up while I chase this down. Nope, she's just going to go maybe to corner. Yeah, okay. Well, let's hold it forward. Some big dead zone here. Yeah, another gen. Crazy. They're killing it. It just makes me think maybe a toolbox got brought in. I wasn't really paying attention to the lobby. No, I don't got anything here. Anyone down there? No. We do have two survivors with hat. Oh, yeah, she doesn't. Does she notice me? Ooh, I'm really not sure. We'll find out. Ooh. We playing at the pallet? Okay. Oh, really? You stayed on that side? That feels bad. Let's just maybe try and go for another crouch play. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we got her. Made her second guess. Feels good. It's a quick break from me. Let me go ahead and put her right onto the hook. I'll have to keep this in mind as well. She was going for this box. They healed up. Anyone over here on this gen? I do want to keep an eye on these gens, though. They kind of flew a little bit this game. Someone's over here on the box, yeah. Well, Michaela, uh-oh. You are in trouble. Not only really much to it. Oh, she's going to lock her? Yeah. That is such a risky play. Never do that unless it's like an expose or something. Always risky. Oh, we were right here. They might just go forward to the look. Yeah, they're just going to the hook. Okay. I have a feeling Nia's going to try and beeline into that box. I won't play around that. Unless they heal up. No. Oh, is she beeline? No, she's not. She's going to the shack one. I can kind of just crouch my whole way here. Oh, yeah. We get this. Oh, yeah. She's in trouble. We know she doesn't have dead heart. As soon as I popped around that corner, she wasn't already moving. We were good. And there we go. Gonna go ahead and put that survivor away. And we have three more. Michaela is also... Timer's kind of going. Ooh, wait, we have someone here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. She is so close to dying. Hold up. Let's play around this. Leave her slugged. We can generate pressure that way. Hi, how you doing? Oh, you do have a toolbox. Nifty. You won't pick her up in time. Yeah. If you have We're Gonna Live Forever and they both stayed here, they might be able to get her up. I can kind of just punish this all day. 
I don't think you make it to this ballot. Uh oh. Do you get that in time? You might. Nope. Big values, come on. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that thing's gonna pop. Hold up. We gotta hide. We gotta watch. Just wait. He <laughs> the breeze drop. That's okay. Just listen. We gotta get out of chase first. Alright, there it goes. Just wait. Oh, here she is. And here soon. Oh, that is so perfect. Oh, that timed out so well. Alright, I'm pretty happy. Let's get these guys hooked up. And there we go, game number two. Two games, two head pops, you'll love to see it. I had a lot of fun with this build. I can definitely agree. I think this would be even better on someone like Wraith or or even Clown, but it's a lot of fun even with Big. So definitely try it out in your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love and until next time, I'm Red and I'm signing off. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.